I remember correctly, we were jumping into bonfire re reverse a string. So I'm going to reset this. I was working on a little bit. So let's clear this code. So what's going on right now is we're getting, we have a reverse string function declared here, but we are not reversing it. So let's, they have a, they have a couple, uh, suggestions here we could probably break it up into an array use dot reverse dot join so let's see what string dot split is suggesting so examples using split so tempest string oh brave new world not split so how do what we want to do is basically parse this string and put it into Java. Sorry. So uh, parse string JavaScript. So how do we do that? Let's look at some examples. JavaScript string split. No. Parse string into char JavaScript. Oops. Just split it by an empty string. Cool. So we're going to say str is equal to. So we're going to say our string is equal to the string that we put in dot split. And what are we splitting it to? We are splitting it to. And we can just do var. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this works first. So it's yours, and uh, we're splitting it by every s nothing. So basically, because we're not splitting it by spaces or anything, it's gonna every character do that. And let's see. Let's say uh, we'll say var uh, reverse. Our reverse equals str dot split, so we're storing it into a single array, and then we'll say for for now what we want to do is we want to reverse it into an array. So this is an array uh, that takes in h e l l o, so it's got five index values, and then we want to say for uh, for each loop reverse JavaScript. So what do we want to do? So we want to use the dot reverse. Okay, that's all we have to do. So they already told us. That's a good job. So we'll say reverse is equal to reverse dot reverse. Now Let's change this up. Uh, we'll just call this placeholder to, uh, so that things don't get too complicated with all these reverses going around here. And then we want to return placeholder. Although in theory, let's just see if we can do it like this. str, str, str. STR. And take out that. So let's see if that will work. And then when we run it, we, the verse output should be a string. So it looks like it prints out the array. So now we need to use join. So first thing we did, we'll say STR is equal to. Uh, our array dot join and here this is going to when we run it print out should be printing out hello uh, let's see here global string object all right so let's see what they say about the global string object string text
so. So what's going on here? So let's close this. Let's check out our global string object real quick. Just concatenating it. Let's see here. Uh, join. So let's see if there's a way in here. All right. It looks like we may have to do it like this. So we can str is equal to the str dot join, but then we have to take out the separator. So you see right here, this is all printed out with commas. Um, so let's go ahead and see if that will do it. There we go. Cool. So. Let's put in some comments real quick so about what we did. And also we need, it's funny that that said that works. We didn't even run this. So let's reverse the string. And this is, our string is going to be greetings from earth. Very cool, very cool. Um, so when we run it, we should get hello, and then we should get whatever good news from Earth is. Okay, so let's clean this up, and we'll just put some comments in here uh, explaining what we did. So split the string into characters for each space of that. So basically every character you're splitting it. Here, we want to... to an array of characters for each space of that and str.reverse we then are use array function reverse to reverse the values of index from first to last and vice versa. So cool. That's what we did here. And then here we reset to a string using array dot join using arrays join function and removing or and adding the separator. Cool. So that's what we did. Uh, not too bad. Bonfire versus string. We spent about maybe 10 minutes on this. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and I guess we can tweet that out real quick. But that is kind of a real quick intro on how to reverse a string. So if we go to our map now, we did that in, what, 10 minutes? Is that is that all that was, was right there? Let's see here. Oh, no, no. We still got more to go. All right. I was like, I'll say, God damn, man. So we're still in reverse the string, it looks like. Oh no, I think we're actually done. Let's see. Sorry, I'm dying to know about these things. Uh, so I'm trying to do one video for each. Okay, so we're done with the bonfire reverse the string. Um, definitely take a look at the, the comments if you kind of, if I kind of went through that a little too quick. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we are going to factorialize uh, a number and in this case, this is actually really helpful. So uh, all this stuff with getting getting it comfortable with numbers, you're going to need to know that for programming in general. And as always, comments, questions, concerns, and anything constructive is always appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be great. And leave me a comment letting me know what you liked about the video and what you didn't like about the video. See you next time.